This is Yarn Trader. It is hump day, which means it is crude day. Now, the API report came out last night, and actually it was pretty good. Uh, crude had a draw of 3.1 million. Uh, gasoline had a draw of 1.3 million. This was had a small build of 0.3 million. So remember, the EIA report will be out today at uh, 1030. Now, the SPR, they're going to start refilling this SPR here in the U.S. here. They're going to pick up the pace from 3 million barrels uh, uh, per month now here uh, to uh, uh, 4.7. A million barrels here so always keep that in mind another thing on the docket today is very very key is going to be the cpi number so you got to stay really sharp now yesterday the ppi number which measures wholesale inflation okay today measures uh consumer inflation so uh the wholesale inflation was really high they were expecting uh 0.3 uh, percent that came in at 0.5 percent so we got to see what, how that's all going to shake out however the market sold off yesterday but okay when uh, Powell came out and says that you know they're not going to raise rates or cut rates it could be more like a stagflation kind of situation then the market rallied up uh, pretty good another thing I want to point out is Nvidia in uh, earnings are coming out here on the 22nd so if you're playing any kind of a tech trade uh, they should be bullish earnings here and Nvidia has been moving up here ahead of that earnings Okay, so as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, mod ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil daily and your weekly chart. Now we can see here, we just kind of like a whole lot of nothing going on. Uh, today's low here so far, we have uh, uh, 77.57. Uh, yesterday's low we had 77.68 so we have a lower low and a lower high okay that's never good now what the candle i've been pointing out to is this candle right here which is 77.55 so so far today you are holding it okay so that's very very uh, good here so far so what you're really doing is you're just trading this range here okay so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we got basically 11 days here that we're trading this range here so <clears throat> been nicer if it would be kind of like broken out but again it might you know break down we don't know that yet okay so when we were over here we were trading this range so you see this is, i was always pointing out these boxes okay we were trading that and then we went and we jumped up higher we were trading that and then we jumped up higher we were trading sideways on that so realistically now we're just trading sideways all the way through okay so we got to see how this is all going to shake uh uh shake out here now remember <clears throat> seasonality is going to be in play here we got memorial day coming up here fourth of july uh, august is a very very volatile month because you're going into uh, september which is that hurricane season so always want to keep that in uh in mind here so let's just look at see what's going to go on here today Okay, so what we want to do is today we have that uh, uh, 77.57. You're really trading against this right here, bottom line here, 77.55. So when you're looking for support levels or resistance levels, just always look to the left of the chart the right there. Okay, so right there, nice. Now, again, if that is lost, then we have this uh, uh, retest here at 76.89 uh, uh, off that bottoming candle. Now, the, the bottoming candle didn't really play out here like the rest of them did here, okay? See, so we had this bottoming candle, and then she rallied right up nicely. Bottoming candle rallied up nice, same way here, and the same way here, okay? So, what? <clears throat> again, we are trading this range, and now this head and shoulders pattern right here is your head, your left shoulder, your right shoulder. That uh, played out really, really nice here, actually. So we have a nice, good support level. Now, if this key level here is lost, okay, that's 7689, then what you want to do is you just want to look to the left of the chart here, okay? So what you look at here is 7679. That's going to be uh, your, your next level here. And then what we do is we'll come over to the bottom of that candle. You're looking at uh, 76.32. We'll come to the bottom of this candle, 76.84, and then bottom there, 75.52, uh, which lines up pretty nice right there, 75.54, that double bottom action there. But really, realistically, if that's all lost, here's your big target that you're going to be going for and aiming for is going to be that 75.42 uh, uh, level. But however, that we have to lose this key price channel here first at that 76.89 but your big target is going to be that 200 day. But again, this is very, very strong support. You can see here all the way through. Now, these are all weeks. Okay, so that isn't like it's a, it's a daily thing. That's all weeks. So um, now if we look at the upside, 
we can see uh, last week you had that indecision candle. So far, we have an inside week, okay? So your high and your low is inside the previous uh, week's uh, high and low. But we have to see how you got uh, three more days here of trading. Now, <clears throat> on the upside here, well, what you have to do is just basically you have to follow the candles back on up here again. So what we're looking at, you look at the bottom of this candle, you're looking at 77, uh, uh, 78. We'll look to the bottom of that candle. You're looking at uh, uh, 78, uh, uh, 14. And then we'll come up here to their 100 day at 78, 50. And then we have your eight day right above it at 78, 67. Now, the key level here on the week is going to be the 7847, uh, which lines up here pretty nice here with the 7850. Okay, so that's good. We can just trade right off the daily. And then we have uh, above this, you have this uh, 7906, okay, which is going to be obviously above here, your 8 SMA here. So, what you want to do uh, realistically is just watch the bottom of these candles, but your key levels are going to be of resistance. It's going to be this 100 day simple moving average. Okay, your eight day super uh, simple moving average. And then again, if we can get above that, then we have your 50 day sitting right there at that 7906. Then you can follow the candles all the way up. You have yesterday's high, you're looking at 7938, uh, you have uh, 7980, and we have 7996. But this is what you'd be looking for is that uh, 8011. Now you can see where the that 200 day now is starting to come on and kind of like a roll over, not really roll over, but it. The price action doesn't start getting uh, uh, higher here, then this will start start to curve over. Now your 21 day, that's ugly. Okay, see that where you crossed over. So any kind of resistance here, if this crosses over that 200 day, that's going to be very very strong resistance here on the upside. So it's going to take something really you know dramatic here to get through all of this resistance because now you're just pretty much below all your simple moving averages on your weekly chart and your uh, uh, monthly chart here, okay? So not looking too good. RSI, you can still have room to go, uh, it's hanging right on the bottom situation. MACD, your green is below your red. It looked like it was trying to curl up here, but nothing right now. That's still uh, momentum, but to the downside. Uh, MACD crossed over, your green crossed over your red. That's never good. That looks like it's gonna be the downside to here. So what you really wanna do for today's action, this is what you wanna watch, okay? So now we had a, this. We just want to watch this trading range here. So just watch the bottom of this candle. That's 77.55. If that is lost, 76, um, uh, 89, that is your target. Okay. Upside, just watch it 100 day at 78.50. Right above it is your uh, uh, 78, uh, 66. So you're getting a range here, uh, pretty much here between your uh, price channel and your 100 day now. Is where we're going to be trading but again if we can just hold this box right here okay hold that box then it really isn't all that bad okay so let's take a look here and what's going on with natural gas okay here we have natural gas your hourly and your four-hour chart now this is actually a very very good looking chart here see bottom left upper right okay so what you're doing is you just put in a nice series of higher lows and higher highs that's always very very good now yesterday we made that high of uh, 2.397 uh, and you had some really good trading action um i know like the ung it just kept going between the 17 and the 1753 so it gave you a good live opportunity here. Now remember, just take what it gives you. You know, a lot of times you say, "Oh, geez, I want to get myself a point, two points, or something." Sometimes the trade just doesn't give it to you. So if you sometimes you can still get that if you say, "Okay, I'm going to take twenty cents here or forty cents there." See, uh, you know, through the day, it'll add right on up here for you. So just always trade what's in front of you, not what you want or what you think is going to happen. But right now here, this is very very good looking chart. You're still, you know, you still have that nice series of higher lows. So the key is here to the upside is what you want to do is break for through that uh, 2.397, okay? And then we're going to go to that gap fill, which will be next at 2.42 if you can break through there, okay? So uh, on the downside here, you really want to just hold. You can see where the uh, 21 day and the 50 day or uh, uh, eight day, you're, you're holding very tight. You just want to watch this 50 day. This is going to be very, very key at 2.34. If not, then you have your uh, 100 day here at 2.30. Uh, so you can see how this is coming down. You're holding the 100 day. Come on down. You're holding the 100 day, holding the 100 day. Then you're up here. Now you're up to the upper level at the 50. So as long as we can hold that 50 SMA here and that 100 SMA, that is very, very good. If that's all lost, then you have your 200 day sitting right there at 2.23. Now your four hour chart, you can see how nice it went uptrend. There was your gap uh, uh, gap uh, 
kind of like a gap and goal situation. This was that contract roll into the June contract. And look how nice here it is to run right on up here. So when you lose that eight day, then you look automatically to that 21 day. When that's lost, then you can look to the 50 day. But look how nice this is holding that 21 day here all the way on up here. So until that loses it, you know, the price is going to be higher. Okay, if it starts losing it, then we can start looking at your 50 day, your price channel and all the way on down. But right now the trend is up. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, here we you have your daily chart. Um, you can see here how that eight day, once you cross over that 50 day and 21 day, the price is just running right on up here very, very nicely, okay? See, so as it goes on up here where it came on down, it held the eight day, came right on down, held the eight day. Now, there's a kind of like a pattern going on here. See where you have a, a green, red, green, red, green, red. So today, obviously, we'll see we can get like a green again. Uh, kind, of, kind of situation you can have. So let's just watch the upside here first. So what you want to do is you want to watch 2.397. That's going to be very, very key. That was yesterday's uh, high. If you know you can get above that, then here is that gap fill I've been pointing out here for months at that 2.424. That is going to be your next level. And then right above it here, we have uh, 2.4. Uh, let's call it 2.46. And then what you have here is you have a 2. Point, say 2.49. Okay, that's what you're looking for. So this can smash on up here very, very nicely. But just remember, when you get to these levels here, once you get that gap filled, when you get to that 200 day and that 50 day, that's going to be like a brick wall. Okay, so it's going to be very hard to believe that it's going to smash right through that and just keep right running higher. It's usually you'll smash into it, it'll come back down. So if you're holding a long position, say from down here, say you're only long trader, then what you do is you sell a portion of your trade into that 200 day or into that 50 SMA here, okay, if it gets there. That is going to be very, very key. Okay, so don't think on the first time it's going to get through there unless there's some kind of a catalyst, okay, uh, natural gas, you know, uh, wells are shut down or something, uh, it, you know, is blown up or whatever it is, some kind of a huge catalyst, storm takes something out or whatever, then you can, you can actually, yes, you can blow through there. But usually this is very, very strong resistance. At least the first time it's got to work its way through, okay? So, Let's take a look here at the old downside. So <clears throat> what we had here today, so far we have an inside day, but it's way early, okay? So your inside, so far your high was 2.37, low is 2.33. Uh, so right there is uh, 2.39 and 2.30. So what you wanna do is we wanna just watch, right, just go to the left of your chart here, okay? So what you're looking for is 2.34, but we're really looking for this candle right here, that 2.31 level, which uh, uh, lines up here very, very nice. With, 2.306. Uh, so look at for 2.30. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Very, very key. And then we have your eight day right above, right below that. Okay. And then we can follow it down. You have your uh, uh, 2726 level. Take your 26 level, go across there. Okay. And then we can come all the way down here where you're looking at 2.16 if that eight day is lost. Okay. But as long as that price is holding that eight day simple moving average, okay, the price is higher. So we got to see now, okay? So we have these price channels, and you can see where you popped out, popped out, popped out, where the price always wants to get close to that eight day uh, simple moving average. So we got to see if that's going to roll over and, and flatten out right there, and that'll be the high. We don't know that. So again, if you close above or get above this 2.39, then you know you're going to go to that gap fill at 2.42, and then there's your target at 2.46, and then 2.49. That is your upside. Downside, watch yesterday's low. That's going to be very, very key. That's basically that 2.31 level. Very, very crucial. And watch this 8 SMA. You have to close above this 8 SMA. That is key. If you start closing below this, then you're going to send your price right on down uh, all the way, even possibly down to this 207 level or even maybe even to this like to the 209 level, 207 level kind of a situation. But again, we don't worry about that until, but I like to show you where it could possibly go. But right now, just watch the high and low of yesterday. Okay, uh, if you break out above, you go to the gap fill, you go to the 200 day, you go to the 50 day. On the downside, you close below, then you're going to go to this 8 day. If the price comes down to this 8 SMA and holds it, that'd be a good buying opportunity here again, just like it was here, just like it was here to take it back up. Okay, that's what I got for you on crude and natural gas. I'll be back here for, uh, at uh, midday trading. We'll see what natural gas and crude's doing and we'll throw something else in the mix. Okay, thanks for watching.